Mr. President, first let me uh, congratulate the Chamber on the overwhelming vote for uh, the, the um, Appropriations Bill. Um, it is good news that we have passed it by a lot. I hope the Senate, the House does it by a lot as too. But I need to comment, Mr. President, on the news that, the, that President Trump may declare a national emergency in an attempt to build his border wall. If President Trump decides to go forward with a disaster declaration, he'll be making a tremendous mistake. Declaring a national emergency would be a lawless act, a gross abuse of the power of the presidency, and a desperate attempt to distract from the fact that President Trump broke his core promise to have Mexico pay for the wall. It would be another demonstration of President Trump's naked contempt for the rule of law and congressional authority. Congress just debated this very issue. There was not support for the President's position. Congressional intent on this issue was very clear. The President's wall has been before Congress several times and has never garnered enough votes to even merit consideration. For the President to declare an emergency now would be an unprecedented subversion of Congress's constitutional prerogative. The fact of the matter is, this is not an emergency, and the President's fear-mongering doesn't make it one. A policy dispute about our southern border does not constitute a national emergency. Democrats support and have always supported strong border security. But the fact is, according to the CBP, apprehensions at our southern border are at historic lows. President Trump couldn't convince Mexico. He couldn't convince the American people. He couldn't convince their elected representatives to pay for his ineffective and, and expensive wall. So now he's trying an end run around Congress in a desperate attempt to put taxpayers on the hook for it. Make no mistake, Congress will defend our constitutional authorities in every way that we can. I yield the floor.